Anyway, joining us now with a full report, investigative reporter, Fox News contributor, Sarah Carter. Sarah, it was uh, beyond revealing today. It was, it was, Sean. And you and I have been sounding the alarm for years. The political rot at America's most powerful institutions is severe. That's what we learned today. Liberal, high ranking, unelected bureaucrats from D.C. constantly put their own political beliefs over that of the people they claim to serve. This is especially true at the FBI and DOJ. For example, Parents voicing their concern about the woke agenda in schools were literally labeled as domestic terrorists. Far-right American men were broadly characterized as the greatest threat to the United States. Mar-a-Lago was raided in search of a few documents from Trump's own presidency. High-level and low-level Trump associates also faced early morning raids, perjury traps, and other aggressive tactics that were once reserved for violent criminals. We learned last night that 140 Americans faced possible charges for merely riding a bus to Trump's January 6th rally. Meanwhile, rioters who breached the Capitol on January 6th were punished with lengthy prison sentences. But the far-left rioter, Sean, in Portland, Oregon, who attempted to burn a federal courthouse to the ground every night for several months, faced almost no legal consequences at all. The majority of the charges were dropped, completely dropped. Sean, we could go on and on and on and on. But for some reason, Democrats fought tooth and nail against this committee. Maybe that's because the bias and weaponization always cuts one way. As the saying goes, sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. Sean, you know, Sarah, back 574 to you. riots, summer of 2020, uh, thousands of cops injured, billions in property damage, dozens of dead Americans. There was no committee. January 6th committee. What did NBC right. News finally report? That in fact they had intelligence really good intelligence uh, in the lead up to January 6th and our law enforcement didn't act on it. That didn't make the final report autographed for money by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney and company uh, because that didn't fit their predetermined outcome just to bash Donald Trump. And that would have helped our government prevent anything like that from happening again. It's sad. But anyway, Sarah Carter, great report tonight. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.